The following story, the true story of ex-executive aperture agent Dr. Roger Rest. Viewer discretion is advised. All recordings were performed by professional actors based on the accounts by Dr. Roger Rest. It became evident that sociopaths and psychopaths of well-known mafiosos and also mobsters were inducted into the organization. I saw them commit torture, I saw them commit murder, I saw them commit kidnapping, and I saw them commit many other crimes. In Aperture, as long as you can sustain your position, that's when your crimes don't come to the public. As an executive, you were in charge of such activities, such as in my tenure at least. My tenure established the explosives exchange to gangland and mobster activity for a certain amount of money along with the distribution of arms and weapons to such uh, people along with their lack of morals and with this brainwashing they were succumbed loyal to the Apt Corporation myself uh, refusing to adhere to the Aperture Corporation's guidelines, so I was put on their blacklist, which included a hit of $750,000 to anyone who would claim my life. We did perform crimes against humanity. I used explosives, I used bullets, and I used firearms to commit acts of atrocity such as murder along with the distribution of unfair justice upon the state police organization which at that time was corrupt to the brim. Are you sure you met an ex-agent and not a crazy conspiracy theorist? Some of these claims are very outlandish, but I'll happily answer them to the best of my ability though. The source claims to have witnessed crimes against humanity, including murder, kidnapping and many other crimes of set nature. Is this really what Aperture Corporation is all about? This is simply false. Anyone taken in by Aperture Corporation is lawfully arrested for various federal crimes. If these claims were true, we would not remain a federal agency for very long. We have lots of other departments that have checks and balances to keep that level of criminal activity from happening. The source claims that weapon deals with criminal organisations are required to uphold the expensive research projects and that trades of explosives aren't regular. I'm yet to hear this accusation from a reliable source. I've heard some criminals try to claim we're only busting them to resell the guns, but that's simply false as well. Our evidence locker has remained the same for some time now. We released a report not too long ago documenting what we currently have stored for, from various busts. That number has continued to rise and we'll most likely be releasing another report this month. There has been mentioned brainwashing of good men, turning them loyal to a certain cause. You may have us confused with CIA's MK Ultra projects. We've never experienced on unwilling human subjects. However, we have been pioneering cybernetics and working on advanced robotic limbs for our military veterans. We've had some promising results in regrowing organs as well. The source claims that the Aperture Corporation has initiated mobsters and other criminal masterminds. There have been some reformed criminal working in our ranks at times. However, they've already done their time and now are working on the side of our corporation for various reasons. We have ex-hackers working on our computer security side, getting hefty paychecks to keep it straight and narrow. 
However, we've never brought in anyone major from the organised crime world. The Aperture Corporation has, according to our source, a hit list, on which he too has been put after leaving his position in the corporation. This is quite funny to me. I can't imagine anyone who would want to work for us if leaving your position in the corporation puts you on a hit list. We hold no such list, and it would be criminal if we ever did. There have been agents in the past who have been sued for trying to sell company secrets after leaving, but that's the worst that could happen upon leaving a position in Aperture, and that only occurs if you break the NDA you sign upon joining the agency.